$1,200 electric wench versus $80 manual come along. Does more expensive mean more better? Let's find out. Yes, I think in this case, I think it does. I don't know, James. My forearms are pretty jacked. Thank you to eBay Motors for sponsoring this season of High Low. All right, Job, I'm ready. By now you all know how solid eBay Motors is. Whether you're a longtime car enthusiast or a first time off-roader like me, there's no better place to buy or sell your parts and cars. Unlike dealerships who flip car after car, eBay is invested in putting the trust back in the automotive marketplace. What are you doing? I'm just testing out this winch that I got off of eBay Motors. We don't have to do that, right? Safe to say this sucker works great. Thanks, eBay Motors. So if you're looking to pull yourself out of some bad online deals, click the link in the description below or download the eBay Motors app to start shopping safely and securely today. And now, back to the show. It's your turn. Hell yeah. We bought two nearly identical Toyota Tacomas and we've been modifying them to be fun daily drivers that you can take literally anywhere except for space. One Tacoma gets expensive parts and one gets cheap parts. Then we test them to see which components are worth spending your hard earned dollar on. Now there's all sorts of recovery gear to help get your off-roader out of a jam, but by far the most popular is the winch. They look sick. And if you're in a pickle, they can be a lifesaver. But what if you can't afford a fancy winch? Could some simple mechanical advantage and a healthy dose of elbow grease be enough to get the job done, I Probably ask? Probably not. Probably not. Well, to find out, High Truck is getting this worn 9,000 pound electric winch, which costs 1,200 bucks. Low Truck, on the other hand, is getting this manual come along, which comes to $80. Right off the bat, I think they did you dirty, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, dude, Nolan, you're stuck. Gonna strap you on the lunch, pull you right on out. Can't believe he's stuck again. I mean, I can. One hand. <laughs> I wanna point out just right off the bat that the term come along is way too cute to be useful. Like this thing was invented in a time where they named things like a come along. Come along. What's it do? It makes the rail cars come along. <laughs> Whoa, chrome. Yeah, dude, there it is. Initial impressions off the bat. Do we think more expensive means more better? 100%, absolutely no question. Why is that? Convenience, <laughs> safety, ease of use, peace of mind. I will concede to all those, uh, you are correct. But how often, realistically, do you think you're gonna have to, you're gonna run out of so many options that you have to resort to the winch? Probably every day. Once. In that case, if we get stuck, bust out the come along. So I think we'll be just fine. I think you're gonna die. You're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna get this thing installed and then head back to our super secret test site where we will deliberately get both trucks stuck and find out if more expensive does really mean more better. So the main focus of this video is on our winch, but if you get stuck, sometimes you need a whole lot more than a winch to get unstuck. So we went a little ham. We got traction bars. We got a first aid kit. Some recovery straps, air compressor. We got jerry cans to carry along some gas and some water on the trail. And we could put all this stuff in the bed, but then people wouldn't know that we're outdoorsy overlander, man. So we got this really beefy bed rack to mount everything on. All together, all the gear we have for our recovery system as well as the bed bars equates to just under $500. Whereas high car. All together, we spent five grand on this. What? Five grand? Just shy of 10 times the amount that Low Team has. Right now, this is like the Mighty Ducks versus the freaking Russians. Legit. <laughs> we did get a lot more stuff than low team, but I have a feeling that both teams are gonna benefit from this stuff. The old saying goes, you don't need a winch, you just need a friend with a winch. And Zach, Job, and I are happy 
to be that friend. Basically, we're four strangers now. So we are beginning our recovery gear expedition with our bed rack. This is what we'll eventually use to mount a tent on in the future if we choose to, which we will. But we'll also maybe be able to mount some stuff onto the sides, who knows? I know High Team with their bed rack and their swing out arms on their tailgate, they're gonna have a lot of options as far as mounting recovery gear goes. We're gonna have to get a little bit more creative with it. This is kind of the foundation. We gotta make sure that everything that we mount in our bed also jives with this. Already, it is not compatible with our current bed situation. We might have to drill some holes in our bed, which is no big deal. All right. Oh, that's pretty pretty spot on, pretty close. Don't really like how much this is sticking out. Oh, we might even chop it. Yeah, might even chop it. Yeah. All right, Zach Job, what's our order of operation? There's really kind of three big sections, the rack, the swing arm, and the winch. Uh, I say we put the rack together first. Yeah, we need some T-nuts. So this extruded aluminum is really convenient. You can just slide nuts in here, basically, that you can then use to mount things to. It looks really cool, man. Are you jealous of it? Yeah. I mean, no. So we need to use the taller of the bed mounts. Glad I measured, I was gonna go with the short ones, but looks like we're gonna need the tall ones, so. What the hell? Coffee pod. The suck cam is coming through. Wow, it looks like a jungle right. thing. We can get in there and like, do some pull-ups. This is the point where High Chuck starts to get officially ridiculous. In a good way, though, I yeah. think. It's gonna look pretty wild. It's gonna catch a lot of wind, though, on our drive. Almost done here on the bed racks. Uh, we're just figuring out some hole situations and then uh, we'll be fully on. It looks kind of unassuming. Fits this truck. Sure, B-R-O-O, -O, bed rack, officially on. Let's see those racks on there, dude. Racks on, racks on, racks on, racks. All right, we've got our bed rack in place and we've got some stuff attached to it, like this handy dandy box. You get dividers going like that, which are kind of cool. Then you can like store something across the top of them. My only problem with it is that there's no way to keep it open. And this latch, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. These will lock it, but those are silly problems to have for such expensive stuff. But it is installed and one way or another, it'll be handy. Follow me, Eddie. Classic low car packaging. Just beat the sh This is our jack. I have no idea how to use one of these things. It's a lot bigger than your normal side of the road jack or even a jack you'd use in the shop. That's why it was pretty important that we had solid jacking points. I believe this is upside down. This is made by Spinny Built. Looks like a pretty solid piece of equipment here. I do like the cement gray colorway of this thing. Very trendy. Think we're gonna come across any raptors? Probably not. Rabbit ones? Okay, so now I've got the welder back out. We're gonna finish up the attachments to our sweet bumper. We've got a cool swing out set. There's two swing outs, and one will hold the spare tire, and the other will hold jerry cans and our high lift jack. So what I need to do is get our jerry can holder put together. I've got it tacked, I need to finish welding it up. Then this will make a strap that kind of holds the cans in place. Wow, and these come from the Midwest Can Company. I probably know those guys. All right, so one of the last things I need to do to get those swing outs to be fully functional is to make a little standout that comes off the bumper, which will hold the uh, latches for the, the clasps. So I'm gonna cut a little section of this and basically weld it off the back of the bumper. The clasps will sit like here and here, and then I'll have a way to lock down the swing outs. All right, so the idea is to get this thing up and out of the way as much as possible. So I'm thinking about having some type of D-ring in the front here just to hold this thing and then have a plate on the back. It's gonna sit right here up against the sheet metal. We're gonna tack it in place, puts this up and on the way, but then also makes it accessible. Aaron, get your face out of there. All right, are you bold as in? That's oh, bad ass, dude. And I just love how clean this looks. It probably cost us, what, like 15 bucks total? No, I need your help. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. My tire exploded and Job's under the truck. Wow, that's quick. Now that that's done, we can put the bed racks back on and we've got some more modifications to make to those. So we gotta take this bumper off and paint it. So let's go in the shed. I know what you're thinking. James, are those cleats for a Bigfoot? 
No. Are those little surfboards? No. These are called recovery boards. If you get real stuck, you throw these underneath your tires. Give you a little traction. Also, although they're plastic, apparently they're strong enough to bridge small gaps. Uh, these are $400. Oh my God. <laughs> Compared to the $80 ones that are going on low truck. That's a beefy bumper. Should we make it a little heavier? We have finally reached the crown jewel of our recovery equipment, our worn ah, winch. So a winch is just basically a big electric motor that can turn and a cable is attached to that motor. So when the motor turns, it turns and shortens the line on the cable, effectively pulling something towards you or pulling you out of whatever you're stuck in. Uh, it's pretty simple. They're really strong and they're pretty handy, especially when you get stuck. So Pumphrey's uh, doing the electrical bit. Uh, it seems pretty easy. It's all color coordinated. You just match some wires from the control box here that we just mounted onto the winch's motor. So we've got three color-coded wires, then one that looks like it'll come up to our battery, and then a ground for the motor. Oh my God. <laughs> God, dude, it is so heavy. I think that weighs as much as the engine in the 8.6. And that's wire. That's a winch, baby, winch. Oh God, <laughs> what, why is, oh no. This is an accurate pre-creation oh. of what's oh. gonna happen out on the trail. Nolan has gotten himself stuck in low cart. Oh no. <laughs> all right, Nolan, give her all you got. It is totally doing a Jurassic Park. Oh God, oh. Winch works. Now we're gonna recreate our test with low teams. Come along. There is a jam of sorts. Yeah. If only it had a remote. Who could have predicted that, that this would not work? See, that thing is whack, man. It's already freaking twisted. Meanwhile, I'm dead. All right. Help me, Nolan. I'm stuck. <laughs> Are you thrilled yet, James, by our amazing technology? Man, our truck weighs way more than this car. <laughs> So it's a little slower. Yeah, okay, well I'm dead, and Nolan's tired, and nobody's having any fun. <laughs> Me and Nolan are all wrapped up with our setup. High Team's equipment looks awesome, but it's very expensive and kind of unnecessary. We just have the essentials, so let's see how the essentials stack up to the fancy stuff. Give her the beans, James! Give it the beans. Give it some beans. Give it the beans. I gave it too many beans. Couple beans. Give it the f <laughs> Give me some beans, baby. Forward! Oh. We said it a lot, you heard it a lot, and now it's on a freaking shirt. The Give It The Beans t-shirt is officially here. It's got a cool little Give It The Beans hit on the front and a Tacoma with all the high-low fixes on the back. Get yours right now at DonutMedia.com, only $29.98, which is so much less than $30. Get yours before supplies run out and give it the beans. <laughs> That's enough beans. So we are back at Gorman and we're about to test our winch versus low teams come along. We've got low truck good and stuck. We are stuck, stuck, stuck. And they're currently trying to work out their approach to getting unstuck. They can use everything at their disposal, their come along, their lockers, four wheel drive, and some of our stuff apparently, they're using our snatch block if they want. The whole point is to get unstuck and uh, see how easy or not easy it is. I I'm actually kind of a fan of the archaic tool. It might not look fancy, but I think it's gonna work. I think in a lot of cases when you're stuck, you really just need to make it a foot or two till you're over the obstacle you're stuck on. That's all our throw, pretty much. Oh, I thought it was a lot longer than this. So our first predicament, right, uh, is getting to know this stuff. So if they're gonna have a problem, it's gonna usually be at a connection. So we're just gonna put these on either side of our connection here, and if anything does go wrong, these will pull down on the straps and keep them from snapping out of control. All right, so we've got our setup now. Aaron is taking up the slack in our lines. This looks really good. We're using two vehicles and some pivot points. This looks legit. Go ahead. Well, this definitely isn't laborious. Go ahead. Yes. Hey! Break, 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 break. A little bit of a process, but uh, <laughs> we got it. Now that's a cheap extraction if I've ever seen one. I mean, it seemed like a lot of work, but it definitely got the truck out and could save your day or 
even your life. This is like a ton of work. All right, so anytime you use a winch, it's really important to make sure that all your cable or synthetic rope is really tightly wound on the spool in here. If it's all wrapped over top of itself or is loose on the spool, as you try to winch yourself or somebody else out, that can slip on the spool in there and either cause you to slip off what you're doing or break your winch altogether and leave you really stranded. I think they're gonna get just as stuck as us forward, but their recovery is gonna be a lot less laborious. Oh yeah, they got a lot more cable than we did. Legit, they just gotta detract the winch, hook it up, good to go. <laughs> All right, I'll call that stuck. I think we're stuck. So I'm gonna snatch block from here and then just hook to the Jeep. Quick work, light work. Job's almost got us all hooked up. I've gotta say, a lot faster than with the come along. We have so much line to work with. Now we got a pulley here to redirect our winch line. So we come up here, use this anchor point and the Jeep. Are you ready? Always ready with the gas. Taking up slack. Give me some juice there, James. Try turning to the right. Oh. You look good, Job. Thanks, Noel. Well, we did it. With the power of electricity and steel cable. What's up, guys? I'm James Pumphrey, and you're on MTV's Unstuck. It's fun, man. It's like a zip line, but in a car. I felt like a baby I just existing in the abyss of that ditch. And then a winch just broke through the clouds and pulled me up and was like, hi. I'm Zach Job. Let's go on an adventure together. I said for the rest of my life, let's do it. So Nolan, does more expensive mean more better? And don't say you don't know, or I swear to God. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, yes it does. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. But the question is how much better? Is it worth that difference in the price? Let's break it down. Time spent recovering your truck. You can't beat the convenience factor of the winch. That's without a doubt. However, the come along did work. For our test at Gorman, it took low truck about 30 minutes to get unstuck and it only took high truck about 10. Yeah, what is that? Three times as fast for a lot, a more lot of times, times the money. <laughs> more money? Yeah. I would say besides physical effort, the biggest drawback of the come along versus the winch is the amount of line. If you have longer straps than necessary, you'll use the come along to winch it in to take out the slack and then you'll have like one workable foot. That's not gonna work. You don't have to worry about that at all. And that is obviously a huge, huge advantage. The main defense of the come along is why spend the extra money? It's so much more expensive for a winch. You're only gonna use a come along a couple times a year. What's the point? Well, now in a future episode, we come across an obstacle that was so tough. Both trucks got stuck and Zach, Job, and I immediately were, were like, okay, let's pull out the winch. Let's get ourselves out of here. Whereas you and Aaron did everything you could. You were using your traction boards. You were kicking rocks around. You were locking, unlocking stuff. You, and yeah, I think the convenience of the winch really came through in that moment. Yeah. Because it was our first option. For sure. And the come along is you guys' last. Very, very last option. I'm gonna have to go with the winch. Not only is it more convenient and gives you better peace of mind, but also just looks cool. You know, that can't be discounted. A winch adds a lot of cred to your truck and they're also very versatile in the ways that you can use them. Versatility, and I think that's worth a lot. That being said, if you can't afford a $1,200 winch, there are cheaper winch options out there. I'm not sure that I would go for the come along. I would just try to find a decent winch uh, option. Thank you guys so much for watching High Low and everything else on Donut. Uh, we like trucks now. We like to let everyone know if you like trucks too, you can go to donutmedia.com and get yourself an official trucks hat inspired directly by High Low. Uh, we also have super extended cuts of all these episodes available on the Donut Underground. It's one of the perks. To learn more about that, hit the join button or I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, below. those director's cuts have a lot of jokes that were- They got a about. lot of bits that I wish made the final yeah. cut. I think <laughs> should have. But, Some of them were for uh, the Apparently, the yeah. a lot of them got apparently cut. Apparently they would demonetize our channel. Yeah, yeah. so if you want to see us say all the words, uh, <laughs> Hit that join button. Be kind. <laughs> I love you. See you next time.